You know how you see people do swatches and they're like, oh my God, look how pigmented. Well, you just dug your finger halfway through it. Of course it is. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I am excited to film today because number one, this is the first time filming since all this crazy snowstorm decided to hit Texas. And this is my first full day with power. Today is Thursday the 17th. 18th excuse me today is the 18th i'm lost um so i was, just felt like i needed to hurry up and film this i kind of put it off because i was anxious about having to pick but now i'm like oh i can't wait to share so before we get into it if you're new i would love to have you stay so please click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time i upload i upload videos twice a week and they're mainly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in Right now, we are about to dive into my top palettes of 2020. These are my top eye products. So that includes my primers and eyeshadows. So let's jump right in. I'm too excited. So in case you didn't know, if you're new here, eyeshadow is my absolute favorite thing. I have over a hundred eyeshadow palettes. I do plan on showing you guys my collection. This has been for years. I am not saying it to brag. I'm saying I have a problem, <laughs> but it's manageable because most of this stuff I buy on sale and i try i'm at the point now where i buy stuff that i love like if i was looking for a go-to i want something to work i know it's going to be good i'm going to love it these are the products that i grabbed or if i fell in love with them the first time i used it they're in this video so i'm going to start with primers number one you saw this in most of my videos my p louise makeup base in rumor zero two absolutely love using this as an eyeshadow primer because it does help cancel out the coloration on my eyelid. My eyelids are a little dark and they used to be oily, so I needed something to help combat that, but now it's just for me to have a blank canvas. So this is one of my favorites. Another one that I love, but I have to be careful when I use it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. The P. Louise one is more of like my concealer shade. It's kind of like a tan versus this one is white. And when it dries down, it kind of looks bad. It looks like it's wrinkly. It looks like it's gonna be patchy, but it makes your eyeshadows pop so much more because it's a white base and just something about the way the shadows stick where you want them to and blend together. Absolutely love it. I don't wear glitter often. I don't think I've done glitter on my channel yet, come to think about it. That's how I don't do it. But when I do, and I want to make sure to put a glitter glue to not have glitter fall all over my face. I actually like this NYX glitter primer. I know Too Faced has theirs and then NYX came out with this to kind of dupe it. And I really like this one. I picked this one over the Too Faced one mainly because it's cheaper. They work the same and it's cheaper. Another eyeshadow primer that you saw in my videos a lot and I use a lot off camera as well is this NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This one is in the shade medium. I like this one a lot because of the applicator. It's easy to apply. It has a doe foot as opposed to just being a squeeze tube. And this one is also a tan color. So love this one as well. Helps my eyeshadows blend, helps them stay all day. Don't have to worry about anything. The last one is an old favorite. And I did show this in a video recently. This is my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I use Lay In Low. This one is more of like a beige, kind of like a pink. It's still tan. But this one's a little more neutral than the others that are a little more golden. I like this one if I want something that's not too stark of a difference and I'm using more neutral tones. If I'm doing like a gold look or a bronze look or something like that, I usually use this one more. And if I'm using color, then I tend to go with the lighter bases. That's really the only difference. Now we're going to move into eyeshadows. I tried. 
I tried to pare this down. And as I'm sitting here, I might leave a couple out. I don't know. One thing I wanted to tell you guys about. I tried the XX Revolution Multi-Chrome Liquid Shadows. These are so good. And I love it because I saw the Natasha Denona Liquid Multi-Chrome Shadows when those came out. I can't think of the name of them. But I had all of them in my cart and I was ready to buy them. And then I saw they had a six month shelf life and I was just like, there's no way. And I love the colors, but then when I started seeing them and thinking about other multi-chromes I had, I was just like, it's just not worth it. And then I found these. I think these are $15. This is in the shade Stimulate. But y'all, this looks so metallic. And the shift in this is in insane like look at how gorgeous that is and you can put it on like that and let it dry or you can actually kind of blend it out and make it more of just not as opaque if that makes sense so you can kind of shear it out a little bit but i absolutely love these i love the color i definitely want to pick up more i only picked up one because i wanted to try it out first but i love it and i want to get more We'll start with my drugstore items first. Number one, not in any order, just first one I'm picking up. This is the Flower Jungle Lights Eyeshadow Palette. I eyeballed this forever and it was out of stock for a while because everybody fell in love with it. It's all metallic, so it's made to be an accent palette. It's not one that you'll just, well, I mean, you could do what you want, but you don't normally just create a whole look from this. But these shadows I have showed you, watch how I dip in here. You know how you see people do swatches and they're like, oh my God, look how pigmented. Well, you just dug your finger halfway through it. Of course it is. This, I'm literally doing that. Look at these colors. Absolute insane pigmentation. And it's just, they are beautiful. Every single shade is beautiful. So I did make myself wait till it came back in stock. And then I made myself wait even longer till I could get it on sale. So I definitely think it was worth it. And if you can get your hands on this and you love really like foiled metallic looking shadows, you're going to love this one. This next one, I did get more towards the end of the year, but I loved it as soon as I wore it and I grabbed it as soon as it came out. This is the ColourPop Baroque palette. This is when I went on my little cool tone kick and I was just like, I need to see what the hype is. And I think I fell in love with this one, not just because the shades are so dark and pigmented, but also because this shade here is a duochrome and y'all know me and duochrome. So that pretty much sealed the deal for me. I'm not gonna go through and swatch all these because it'll just be too long. Actually, these two both are so I love the way ColourPop shadows perform, most of them. I love the way this one performed. My favorite drugstore neutral palette was this e.l.f. New Classics palette. This one kind of took me by surprise. I will say that you have to be careful because these shadows are powdery and I did have fallout, but I used this palette whenever I did my soft glam look and it came out absolutely beautiful and I loved these shadows. I think it's perfect because you can make it lean a little more cool if you want to, but you can also create warm looks with this. So I feel like it's just the perfect all-in-one palette. The shimmer shades in here, they're nice, but they're almost more like, this is platinum and this is rose gold. They're more like satins as opposed to like what I just showed you with the super shiny foiled shades. So you can still create a beautiful look with them. It's just not gonna pop and be as bright and foiled. I can't think of another word. Foiled metallic on your eyes as any as the other one I showed. So great palette, definitely beginner friendly, and I absolutely love it. Can't recommend it enough. For color options, also goes to elf this is the retro paradise palette i saw this palette and i started not to pick it up because i was just like this is so random and i just why are the colors going to be that good and then i was like you know if you took out 
these right here and these two here, you have a really good neutral palette. So for me, I was like, this is a very good beginner. You want to have neutral options to play it safe, but you also want to play in color. I will say that I feel like the metallics in here are a little more metallic, more foiled than in the new classics, but a lot of shadow picks up. These are also extremely powdery. So you have to be careful with that whenever you're applying it, but I definitely feel like these are a lot more metallic than the others. So depending on what you're looking for, if you want to have the option to have a little color, I would say pick up the Retro Paradise. If you just want neutrals, go for the new classics. This next palette I picked as a drugstore favorite because it reminded me so much of another past favorite that I had. This is the Wet n Wild. This is the, I think, Tin Pan color icon in My Glamour Squad. I love this palette because it reminds me so much of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. If you've been here for a while, I did a video comparing the two palettes where I did Soft Glam on one eye and then my Glamour Squad on another eye, and they looked practically identical. I love this palette because it is warm. I love warm tones, but also because you can do a light neutral look, you can really make it glam because they have a black in here and that black is so pigmented. If you don't want to use the black, this brown is really dark. And the shimmer shades in here are nice. They're not foiled like the flower ones, but you can still get a nice shine if you build them up or you wet your brush. So I think this is a perfect, inexpensive option. This is actually the cheapest palette of all of them and you're getting 10 shades. So if you're looking for something, you're just getting started out, these 10 pan eyeshadows are a really good option and they work really well, comparable to some of my high-end ones. I was trying to take this one out, but I can't. So <laughs> this is the Maybelline Nudes of New York eyeshadow palette. This palette, I just, for like, every day, very beginner friendly. I think this palette is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me, it is not as, I wouldn't say it's as pigmented because these shadows are a lot softer. There aren't, there's not as much depth. You can build them up, but there's not as much depth as the Natasha Denona bronze palette. But when I look at this, that's kind of what this reminds me of. It also reminds me of the Too Faced Neutral Natural Matte or Naturals I don't know what it's called. I don't have it. Didn't care to buy it. Reminds me a lot of that palette as well. And I just thought this was so pretty and the pigmentation is absolutely there for these. Again with these, the mattes work really well. They blend really well. These are more like satins than they are actual shimmer shades. So you're not going to have a lot of fallout with glitter or anything like that. This is a very beautiful, very pigmented easy, easy beginner friendly palette, or if you're advanced and you just want something that you can travel with and don't have to worry about it, get it broken, whatever. I can't recommend this enough. This next palette is actually very similar to that one, but it's high end. This is the NARS Skin Deep Eye Palette. This eyeshadow palette, I'm pretty sure I've showed this in a favorites before when I first started my channel. This looks very similar to the Maybelline palette. I use this palette a lot when I'm doing just like, oh, let me throw something. I'll show them to you side by side. When I'm doing something, let me do quick, easy. I don't often use it for glam looks, but I definitely could. And I love this palette because I can also use these on my face. I use these to contour and bronze. I use this under my eyes. And then this one, your shimmer shades, are also somewhat like satins as opposed to like foiled, but they're still beautiful and they give a nice shine when you put them on the lid. So again, nothing that's gonna be super overpowering or hard to work with, but it's just a beautiful neutral palette. I feel like now we're moving into the big dogs. This next one you're gonna see is well loved. This is in my travel bag, so I had to include it. 
This is the Visart, 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 I say Visart. This is their Theory palette in the shade Minx. Again, it's a warm toned palette. That is what I love. But these shadows, this brown can be built up so deep. If you want to do like a smoky glam look, this also, if you want to, you know, put them together and make like a smoky eye, this crease shade right here, I have a dent in it. This is one of my all time favorite crease shades. Absolutely love it. When I use this palette, as you can see, this gold is the one that I gravitate to the most. And then also this shade. Every now and then, if I just want to keep it simple, I'll put this cream shade on my lid, darken it up a little bit with this, go about my business. This shade right here, I feel like if I want to do like, let's amp this up, to say it looks as neutral as it is, I really get a nice shine off of it. So I don't use this if I'm just doing, trying to get out the door and go. But if I want to amp up my look and I'm only using this palette, I'll put that in the inner corner and bring it across the lid a little bit and it looks amazing. The next palette, I did a video on this one as well. Y'all know my favorite color is purple. So when I saw this, it was not a question. I didn't wait for a sale. I did I I'm not sure but I would have paid full price for it this is the melt cosmetics she's in parties palette y'all I absolutely love this palette and I was so heartbroken because you can't get it in the store and when I first ordered it it came in shattered so I brought it back to the store got a credit and then hurried up and ordered it again and I am so glad that I did Y'all know Melt Cosmetics, like their shadows are so pigmented and just so like in your face. The depth that you can create, I like how they have these cooler shades in here. So you can create a lighter, more neutral look. But the depth that you can get from these shadows here and then the iridescence on this one, like I could talk about this palette all day. I would do purple eyeshadow on my channel every day if y'all wouldn't get bored with it. And this would be in a lot of the videos. So... That's how much I love it. Glad I got it. Definitely worth the price. I know you guys knew you were going to see a Natasha Denona palette in my favorites. There's no way. The question is, how the hell was I going to choose which one? Because I absolutely love them all. I ended up going with the Glam palette. Let me tell you why. First of all, this one took me completely by surprise. I had no idea I was going to love it as much as I did. And when I showed it on my channel, I did three looks with it. And every single one of them, I was just like, oh my God, this is so pretty. Oh my God, this is beautiful. All of these came out so beautiful. It's Natasha Denona. So you know the pigmentation is there. The shadows are foiled. They're gorgeous. I almost didn't pick this up. And then I did. And I'm so glad that I did. I haven't used... I don't think maybe once I haven't used Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows on my channel that much but I used to collect them like all of them and now I'm just like no only buy what you like everybody talked about this palette this is the Jackie Ina collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills y'all y'all know this was screaming my name right like these shadows are absolutely beautiful and you can use every single shade in this palette. We all know not all shadows and not all palettes are brown skin girl friendly. I love having a palette in my collection that I can use every single shade. And it doesn't have to be just, well, at least I can pop that one on my scent on my lid and make it work. No, all of these shadows work. They're all pigmented, all blendable absolutely incredible and I love this palette the last two I had to do two I couldn't help it these are from Pat McGrath <laughs> did you guys know this was gonna be in here I have four including this one of the mothership palettes I have bronze ambition I'm looking at them divine rose 2 subversive and midnight sun I picked this one. I ain't even going to lie. I picked this one because it is more pink purple and because of this beauty right here. 
this multi-chrome shade literally like there was no question in my mind if i was going to get this absolutely gorgeous we all know pat mcgrath's pigmentation and the packaging yes this ended up in my favorites because of the packaging i couldn't help it guys this palette is amazing everything about it the way it works the way it applies the way it looks this last one i have i don't even know four or five of her quads six i don't know i'll put it on the screen but i picked this one particularly because of the fact that i feel like i could get a complete look out of only using this quad this is the celestial divinity luxe quad in interstellar icon it has purple it has blue it has gold and then it has this shade right here i don't know if you can tell but it kind of has like some gold flecks in it but this is just this palette is so gorgeous and i love all of these shades i also feel like this one is the most wearable out of all of them the other ones are more pink purple and then i have the one that has like the bright green and the purple in it i do have the bronze one that one's gorgeous that's also like you could do a full look with it but i like this one more because of the pop of color so that is why i picked it picked it up this year absolutely love it that is it guys for my eyeshadow palette favorites and my eyeshadow primers of 2020. i'm sorry i'm getting this video to you so late part of it was because of the anxiety of having to pick one and the other part was because of this stupid winter storm that hit us and i couldn't film with no power so i hope you feel it was worth it comment below let me know some of your favorite eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadow primers or anything else that you love to use I would love to compare notes, see if I have them, or possibly check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, stick around, join the family, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.